Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, it's highlights from the St. Patrick's Parade. This year's date is March 11th. Next, I bake baguettes with the Bread Whisperer. But first, Barbara and Gary from WYSU. Well, I am very excited about today's segment. I've been wanting to meet Barbara Krause for quite a while. <laughs> Long Thank time you. listener. <laughs> First time I finally get to see her. Oh and my God. it is a pleasure to find Well, it's a pleasure to meet you too. I see you all the time on TV, but yeah, this is the first time we've met face to face. Now, you have been, you are, uh, how long have you been here at WYSU? Oh um, hmm, a long time. Um, I was actually a student, a music student, um, back in 1972. One of my uh, history professors, music history professors, Ron Gould, recommended me to this radio station. He said, you know, he said um, they've just started up down there with a classical music station. You're a voice major. You sing in these different languages. You would be perfect. So I went down and they hired me. And um, <laughs> so, so you are a part-time gig. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And when then you started full-time. Yeah, I graduated in 75. They hired me full-time. Um, and I've been here pretty much ever since, uh, except for a little hiatus where I had my kids, but I was still working part-time. So yeah, it's been a continuous line since my whole adult life, really. With your other programming, um, you know, the weekend programming and your mm -hmm. news, all things considered, have you met like Terry Gross and, and people like that I from the? I haven't met Terry um, Gross, no. Um, but we, uh, let's see, we <laughs> had um, K Koki Roberts just come to yes. town a few weeks ago. She was, she was fabulous. She's my idol, uh -huh. <laughs> and it was just so wonderful to see her and to introduce her and to talk to her and and to listen to her. Um, this this woman is just a, a paramount. Do you do personal appearances? I know you introduced Cokie Roberts. Do you have to go out? I mean, like commercial radio, you're going yeah. to car lots and you're, going, yeah, <laughs> you're no. doing remotes. Uh, yeah. You don't not have to do those kind of um, things. Not, not too many, no. I mean, sometimes people will ask me to speak at a, uh, the, you know, the Cultural Alliance um, yes. program. I, with Dr. Bielan. Yes. Yeah, I, spoke I spoke there spoke too. Him. Remember, I know Bill, you did. we did that. I think I was, the, I think I was your follow-up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, really? Yeah, I think so. I spoke yeah. on Ireland, uh -huh. Irish tradition. Too. And I spoke on France. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here live every day. Yes. And yes. Uh, you don't pre-program anything. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, I pre-program. Um, I'm here every morning at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I don't go on the air until 6 o'clock. That's for the news. I yes. Do, uh, my first part of the day is the news. But then um, I have the 8 o'clock hour free to just do my prep. So yeah, I'm, um, when I'm not here on the air, I'm usually back in the record library. Gary Sexton is the director of WISU. Um, you're Barbara's boss. Is she I am. behaving herself? I am. She's hard to control. But I know. Um, she seems like a wild woman. <laughs> she is. And you're also a host. I am. I do a classical program in the afternoons. And your background is in classical music. I mean, it's wild <laughs> that you think that classical music is waning, but not. There's a lot of people that have classical music. Yeah, interests. and then we're very committed to it. About, I think half our staff, maybe more than half our staff, have a classical music background, believe it or not. And your performance. And yeah, exactly. And, and many of them here are. And we have a saxophone player, we've got uh, another trombonist, we've got a singer. So, you know, you're leaving the arts and going to the business side, yeah. you know, running the station. Do you prefer that? Do you, do you like looking at the numbers and? Um, yeah, I like it all. Like. I really like, you know, after a day of working on administrative stuff and the numbers, you know, going on here and doing the classical music. And well, you know, I was talking to Barbara. Are there um, artists that you just well, you uh, find are flat? You know, ones that you eh, you might skim over. There, there are. I mean, you know, there's well, like in every music, right? There's top tier, you know. Yeah. So you know, there you want to hear Bach sometimes, and every once in a while you put a 
secondary Russian composer Taneyev, for instance, on. You know, now, who do you really, really love? Like, who are you listening to when you have your toys at home? Um, probably Bach. He led a tragically short life. Vasily Sergeyevich Kalinikov showed so much promise, but died two days before his 35th birthday. This was... Well, you may not know this, but Barbara's son is my neighbor. Yes. And I've been really bothering and pestering <laughs> him that I wanted to meet his mother. <laughs> and I really enjoy your bread. Oh, oh, thank and you. And you oh, have, um, you. you know, given Eric loaves to give to me. Yes. And I am really hoping that you would come on my show. Oh my gosh. And maybe bake some bread with me because oh. yours is amazing. It's thank delicious. You. you got it. You're going on. <laughs> I got it. You're doing that, okay? I would Barbara love Cross to. I would love bread to. bread <laughs> on my show. And we will not play any music you do not like. Oh, thank you. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Chef Reggie, this looks amazing. What kind of cake is this? Uh, this is our six layer Guinness chocolate cake. Well, I think I'll be wow. enjoying that, Phil. Absolutely delicious, Reggie. <gasps> Thank well, you. You're welcome. You guys enjoy it. Okay. Thank you, I got to tell you, I love what you've done with the place. Your cabin chic interior looks great over here. It's warmer and more welcoming. We use reclaimed lumber to really create that earthy feeling. And everything else that we've done in the past, we're just going to do more of. We are going to support the local farmers, the local breweries, come up with creative ideas on the menu, everything that our customers want to embrace so that they can eat, drink, and celebrate right here at Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. That is a great mantra. And huh, eat, drink, celebrate, repeat. Cheers. Cheers, Phil. Celebrate the 40th annual Mahoning Valley St. Patrick's Day Parade on Sunday, March 11th. Enter your group, organization, or marching band at mvstpatrickparade.com. Mayflower Wallum is your full-service independent insurance agency for what matters most. Home, auto, life, boat, RV, umbrella. We'll find the right product at the right price for your family. Mayflower Wallum with three locations to serve you. Here at the Upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the Upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's, and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients, and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Rolly Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Well, look who's in the kitchen with me. Ask and you shall receive. So Barbara, who I have already sampled many of her breads, has agreed to come on and make a quick bread recipe with me. I hope it's gonna be okay. There are baguettes. 
which are very temperamental, but we're going to do our best today. But you said this baguette really is it's, pretty it's, quick. It's not bad, um, but it still takes a little bit of time because the dough will it will have to sit for a while. But um, with the magic of television, we'll just we are speed going things to up speed a little bit here. So. For this recipe, you'll need five cups of bread flour, two cups of cool water, one tablespoon of instant dry yeast, and two and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Five, five cups of bread flour. Directly into the bowl Directly before anything bowl. else. Yep. Two cups of cool water. Okay. And we're going to mix this up and we're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. No yeast, no salt. No, not yet. Okay. Um, this is called the autolyse. Okay. And what it means is just to rest, it, the, the dough is resting and it's pulling in all of that water. So it took a few minutes to mix the dough. It's all combined. And now after about a 15 minute rest, we did speed that up. But you ultimately should wait an hour, correct? I, I would say, yeah. And now? So you're... now the yeast, and we're gonna turn this on again. Okay, while it's doing. Mm -hmm. while, while it's, it's going. While okay. it's going. And then slowly add the yeast. Okay. All right, and oh, it's mixing nicely. All right, now we're ready to add the salt. Okay. And there's no waiting period here. Um, you probably, no. Um, if you've mixed the dough for a couple of minutes, then you can go right ahead and okay. add the salt. Yeah. So you want me to get this going again? Mm -hmm. Here we go. And again, slowly. Okay, so you could see how it's come together. It's, it's not um, very firm. It's a shaggy dough, which is mm -hmm. fine. At this stage, it's fine. Shaggy, I like Sh all A the shaggy dough, yeah. Um, and so at this point, what we're going to do is allow the dough to rest and do the rest of the work on its own. Okay. So we can cover it and we can do one of two things. We can either put it on the counter and depending on what your room temperature is, it could take between an hour and a half to three hours to, we'll say, almost double. Or you can do what I do and you can put it in the refrigerator overnight. Now the dough will still rise, but much slower. So we'll fridge this, but Barbara is so clever. <laughs> she already has dough ready to I go. I do, so I do. Quickly. And so we're going to divide it into four parts. Okay. And pray that they're somewhat equal. Okay. So, the thing about baguettes yes. is it all comes down to the shaping. All right. The shaping and the slashing. So, if learn. you want to work with me here, okay. you can take one piece. Just kind of put it in a little ball. Just, a ball. yeah, scrunch okay. it up like that. And then pat it down. Seam side down. If you let it relax, it will do whatever you need to do to it. Okay. If you don't let it relax, it's going to fight you every step now, of the way. Now, how do you know it's relaxed? Because when you want to do what you want to do, it will happen. And if you, if it <laughs> okay. doesn't happen, it's not relaxed. I need so, to give it a glass so of wine went, or so a we'll, cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just looking good, bud. But we all have okay. our methods. Okay, so take your dough and just um, try, to, try to stretch it out into a rectangle, and I'm saying approximately six by eight inches, but you know, that's, that's approximate. Now take the, take the bottom end towards you mm -hmm. and flip it over, and take your fingertips okay. and seal it like that. Okay. Oh, here, right there. Right okay. on that seal, right. okay. And again, and be very careful because, because this poor dough has has used all of its energy building air bubbles and okay. we don't want to distract from that or defeat that. So pick it up um, okay. on the end here and fold it over again. Okay. And very gently seal it. Again. Yep, right there. Okay. Okay. And if you can, do it again. Okay. Okay. But I take the dough with my hand like this, and I put my thumb 
right along that seam there. Okay. And with my other hand, I'm pressing down with my fingertips to give it one last fold. All right, so <laughs> the last step yes. in our shaping is we, we put our dough in front of us mm -hmm. and we take our hands in the middle, mm -hmm. in the middle, yeah. And then you roll up. And baguettes generally have a tapered end, so try and taper the end. So we have a, a linen cloth here. Yes, um, in, in France they call these a couche, a, a couche. bed, yeah. Okay. And um, we're just going to flour it. Now, does everybody need a couche? No, you can, you can use, use a, dish a towel? towel. You can use a dish towel, just not terry cloth. Make a fold in between them so that they support. So they all get to know each other better. That's right, okay. yeah. Okay, you are serious. <laughs> oh, you should see my house. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on baking day. And now, um, if Usually, um, I don't make four at a time, and usually that covers, but it doesn't quite cover now, so we're just going to cover that with a cloth, and we're going to give this about a 30-minute rise. So what we're going to do right before we load this into the oven, we're going to take a half of a cup of water. Okay. The directions tell you to put the piece of stone on the next to the lowest rack in All your right. oven. And on the lowest rack of your oven, a metal pan has to be metal, not glass, okay. because we're going to put cold water into a hot pan and you don't want it And that steam shattering. will help? The steam is very important for the baguettes, yes. With your oven, I'm not sure. I'm going to say 20 minutes. All right. We'll so see. Let's um, see. And if they're browning unevenly, you can open the oven door real quickly and move them around. Well, look how beautiful the loaves came out. Mine was, of course, the ugliest <laughs> one. So I took mine, and I'm going to make that traditional pawn. I know you've been to Spain. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what you do is I toasted this under the broiler, and you just take like a piece of garlic that's cut, and you rub the pieces with it, okay? Mm. Now, when I went to Spain, here's what they did. They rubbed the garlic, then they just took a tomato that was really ripe, and they just rubbed it like that. Oh, interesting. Okay? Yeah. And then they would drizzle it with mm -hmm. a little olive oil, and then they would salt and pepper it, or just salt it, really. And that was it. Now, there's other ways to make it. So I rubbed it with garlic, and then what they do is they use a box grater with a ripe tomato, and they add the olive oil to the tomato mixture. See? And it's pre-done. Wow. Now, we're gonna do a little taste test, see which way we like it better. You know, for that little bit of garlic, can you believe oh, yeah. how tasty it that is? It really is very uh, aromatic, too. Here is to Barbara. Go to my <laughs> website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. The recipe will be there. Her loaves are beautiful. Mine, not so much. Oh, but they fine. do taste they good. They taste good. <laughs> taste they good. Taste good. So cheers. Cheers. Here's to us. us. None, None better. better. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. At the Vein Center in Med Spa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. We provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center in Med Spa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. Call the Vein Center in Med Spa for a free consultation. See why our patients leave satisfied. Now accepting Anthem and Highmark. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. 
My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. I am blessed with a wonderful husband. He stuck with me through thick and thin, and he's a fantastic father. So when he needed long-term care, not just any place would do, we did our research. Everyone said, trust the name you know, Briarfield. With all those locations, there's always one close. That made it easy for me and the kids to visit more often, Briarfield. Trust the name you know, Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. Mayflower Wollum is your full-service independent insurance agency for your business. We work with several companies so you have choices for your insurance needs. Commercial properties, professional liability, bonding, and general. Trust Mayflower Wollum. Celebrate the 40th annual Mahoning Valley St. Patrick's Day Parade on Sunday, March 11th. Enter your group, organization, or marching band at mvstpatrickparade.com. It's time to get real about getting engaged. Real experts you can count on. Real pricing and financing for your budget. And really one-of-a-kind engagement rings. That are unique as she is. Get real, get Kamara. Get real, get Kamara. In the Cool Creek Plaza in Canfield. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. For the last 38 years, the Mahoning Valley comes together to celebrate the Irish at the annual St. Patrick's Parade. Always held the Sunday before March 17th, it attracts between 30 and 40,000 spectators. Come out for the fun. Rain, snow, or sunshine, everyone is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. Well, we're here in our 37th year for the Mahoning Valley St. Patrick Parade. I've been here 35. I'm, 35 years. I'm not that old. Oh, I'm, I am. I'm, I am come that on, old. we're not giving her <laughs> age. This is Joyce Kaopesta. She is our president. And Joyce, I thought we were going to have a little bit warmer weather, but at least it's not raining. It's not raining, and it, I hope for 50 degrees by 2 o'clock, hopefully. I'll year feel, after year, yeah. this is such a huge event. and. You know, you can really see the changes. Can't you just see the different entries and the different type of people entering? Everybody, well, everyone wants to be in a parade, no matter what the weather. And I can't believe the crowd that is out here already. Those are true Irishmen. Let me congratulate you on your beautiful Irish attire, your hat from Aaron, and your beautiful scarf. Well, thank you, my friend Vivian from the Wrist Connection. Aww. She gave me this because it's Ursuline. It is definitely St. Patrick's Day. She has all these beautiful color combinations. She has beautiful things there. I shop there a lot. Well, I'll have to get you one. Oh, thank you. Will everybody please give us your attention? And we are now going to have Gemma sing the national anthem. You ready, honey? All righty. Take a bow. That was absolutely beautiful, hon. It's tough to do. That is tough to do. I'm Why don't we tell them about what's coming up? Well, the Boardman Band is going to lead the parade for the second year. Our Grand Marshal, Dick Coughlin, from the House of Aaron. Our Ackerman Award winner is... Uh... <laughs> I forget! <laughs> I forget! Tom Ike! Who has been with us for many, many years as a parade marshal. And then we have our Cleary Award winner, who is Terry Brennan, Terry Brennan who is uh, usually here behind the scene. 
But now we're going to bring him out uh, in the public eye. Our Lord Mayor of Kilkenny is the chief of the Borgland Police plus the Borgland Police Department. Every year the Borgland Police dedicate their time and their, uh, no money they take for this. They just That's do right. the parade for us for free. So we really thought it was time to honor the Borgland Police for their... who was co-hosting with me, Mayor McNally, after last year. Yes, after You last had year. such a good time. Way too much fun last year. So I'm on a very short leash this year. <laughs> very <know>. short. <laughs> so we're going to uh, co-host again. Now, what was your favorite part of the parade? Other than being Grand Marshal last year. Um, I think it was the first time I'd actually seen the parade from beginning to end. And it's a long parade. But we had a great time together. Uh, we got a chance to be fun together. And exactly. I enjoyed that. So I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'll tell you, we've got a lot of marching bands, we've got a lot of pipe bands, and we've got some really neat units. So I think you're going to be uh, pleasantly surprised by what we're offering this year. All right, now, will uh, the sun be making an appearance today? I would like to uh, see the sun. I, I, I'm, I'm putting all weathermen on notice. I never will trust them yes, again. Yes, uh, because they told us we're going to be 50 degrees. Yes. We have not attained that mark yet. In fact, we're wind chills, I'm going to say, about 30 degrees exactly. right now. So we need rapid improvement. The Irish are a hardy bunch, though, and we will persevere. How about this bacon? Did you yeah. try this? Yes, that was actually my piece that I put on the table. For okay, me. well, then you eat this one. Now what's, Mine is over here. Well, this what's so is special about it, Kate? slow cooked for four hours at 250 with Guinness and brown sugar. It's like a candied bacon. It is effect. delicious. Mm. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.